Hey folks, got a question for you. Another one. This is for my halfway converted or all the way converted people. I have a question about your I don't know what I want to call them. Heater heater lines. I am nervous that about this part and I don't know why. Maybe I'm just making more of a big deal than it is, but here, let me show you. Usually when everyone converts, they take out this ugly, loud, obnoxious heater. And all the antifreeze within. And normally people just, you know, cut the lines, drain it, and they loop it somewhere behind the driver's seat. So that way it could still flow from the engine through. And that way you still have heat to your defrosters and driver's heat and whatever. Because you always need defrosters. Anyways, my question to you folks is, like, I'm nervous that this engine will run pretty, it'll run hotter with all the antifreeze that's in there. People usually say there's about three, I think actually four to five gallons, three, three to five gallons worth of antifreeze in there. I'm just worried about my engine overheating. Maybe this bus has a 444. I don't know. A lot of people don't like them. Everyone wants the 466. I mean, I would have one if I had the opportunity to get one, but I did not. I got what I got. And just let me know. Like, did you cut your lines and then you did you re... Did you drain all the antifreeze out and put new stuff in? And did you get really good stuff? And if you did, could you let me know what kind of brand it is? Or anything like that. Because what I want to do is I want to take this out for a run one day. But I want to close these. That's the circulation to the back. And just see how hot it gets in a quick. But the problem with that is it's like, well, for one... It's muddy season, and this bus probably ain't going to be moving for a while. Like, a long while. And these damn hoses are just in the way. You know, we're trying to finalize our uh, floor repair, and it's just not helping. Secondly, I forget what secondly was going to be. Oh, and secondly, it's not, I mean, there's not a whole lot of antifreeze that's going to circulate from there to there. But it's circulation. So I don't know if that's going to make a difference. You know where you would normally cut it off there. Just let me know. Did it run hotter? Did you even notice? Did it not? Did you change your fluids? If so, what kind of fluids do you recommend? I'll take any advice here. Because these hoses are just in the way. And I just want to cut them and get them the hell out of here already. Because that whole strip from underneath that seat, probably all the way up to where I didn't get this floor mat out here. I could poke my hole, I could poke my, <laughs> poke my finger through the hole, make, poke my finger through the floor, probably real easily, and I gotta put a patch strip there. So I just wanna get this thing the fuck out of here already. All right, thank you, and uh, have a good one. Peace.